beautiful, youthful skin. It seems like everybody wants that these days. Well, today we're gonna determine if collagen supplements are really the fountain of youth or just a bottle of marketing. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, Ink Nutrition, where we're all about mind, body, and food. My name is Jack, registered dietitian, and our main purpose on this channel is to make credible nutrition information available to everyone. So thanks so much for joining. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week. There's so much fear around aging skin, right? Developing wrinkles, perhaps getting a little saggy. And maybe I don't fully understand because I'm a man and men are often encouraged to like look older and women have a lot of unfair pressure to look a certain way, even in the workplace. So I wanna be very sensitive here, but why can we not learn to love our natural selves? But with the countless number of anti-aging products that I see, clearly there's enough people that care about looking more youthful. So let's talk about collagen. So what is collagen? Well, it's a protein found in our skin, bones, muscles, other connective tissues. It actually makes up 25 to 30% of the total protein in our bodies. And as we age, our body's natural production of collagen decreases. Yes, as with most things, our body degrades as we get older. Sorry. So within nutrition science, there's always a new popular kid on the block. And right now it is collagen. It appears that it could be beneficial with joint pain, bone health, recovery. But today I'm just going to focus on the research and what it says with skin health and skin aging. So rather than just believing what my girlfriend's friend's mother said about collagen, which could be true, I'm going to do my own research. And spoiler alert, it's promising. So here is a meta-analysis, right? The gold standard of research conducted in 2021 by Miranda and colleagues published in the International Journal of Dermatology. So with specific inclusion criteria, uh, this team of researchers gathered 19 studies, which all looked at how oral supplementation of hydrolyzed collagen affects skin health. A total of 1,125 patients completed the studies. Uh, there were different concentrations and formulations, but overall it was pretty similar uh, from study to study. And the time taking the collagen between the subjects ranged from four to 16 weeks long. So the results. All right, supplementation with collagen peptides improved the signs of skin aging by decreasing facial wrinkles and improving skin hydration and elasticity. The time required to delay skin aging in most of the studies was about 90 days. Uh, and the result was maintained for four weeks after the end of taking the supplements. Pretty sweet. Studies using supplements with higher concentrations of prohype and hypoglide dipeptides showed the best improvements. And overall, it appeared to be effective and safe because no adverse effects were reported in any of the analyzed studies. And I do wanna mention that when you look at all of these results together within all of these studies for the skin hydration, skin elasticity, uh, the improvements in wrinkles and cutaneous density, they were all statistically significant with a large effect size, which is a good thing. It pretty much represents you know, the practical significance. So far, so good, but I do have a couple questions, of course, right? So did all these studies control for variables like UV exposure and smoking and nutrition, taking other supplements? No. Did they all compare to a placebo group? No. When it comes to the reduction in wrinkles, how did they really determine this? Was it self-reported, which would, you know, lead to bias? Uh, did the researchers just look and make their subjective opinions? I don't really know the answer to all these. I didn't dive that deep into each of the methods of all of the studies, but if you want to do that, please, by all means, go for it and report back. A quick note for those science people who actually want to know how collagen could elicit all these benefits. Well, once digested, the collagen supplement, if it's a high quality one and it contains high amounts of prohydroxyproline and hydroxyproglycine, 
Well, they will be metabolized into dipeptides and tripeptides, transported through the blood, and then accumulate on the skin and form new collagen fibers. And then from there, you get all the benefits we've been talking about. Great, so now you know a little bit about the collagen, but if you want a supplement, what do you do? Where do you start? Okay, so you need at least two and a half grams per day to get the potential benefits according to the research. Uh, the source, all right, there's three options. Mostly you can get it from either bovine, so like a cow, porcine or pigs, or marine like fish, which actually appears to be higher in those favorable peptides I just mentioned. Now, hydrolyzed collagen appears to be more bioavailable, just meaning that it's better absorbed. Um, and the longer, more consistent you take collagen, the greater the benefits, at least 60 days. So I know I presented you with some research that looked pretty promising. It looked good, but we need more, just like with almost any topic in the world of nutrition science, right? I think future studies should look at longer durations and more diverse populations and explore the potential synergistic effect that you can get with certain vitamins uh, and then control for more variables. And finally, confirm which source of collagen is the best. So in conclusion, I honestly think there's some real potential with supplementing with high quality collagen if you wanna improve your skin health. Now, will it be better than, you know, watching UV exposure, not smoking, or just eating a well-balanced, nutrient-dense diet? Probably not, but it's not gonna harm you and it can only help. Lastly, I gotta throw a disclaimer at you, okay? Even though collagen appears to be very safe and non-toxic, everything you heard me talk about today is just for general informational purposes only. I'm not making any direct recommendations to you, but if you do want any you know, one-on-one -on -one consultations, definitely book one with me or any of the dietitians at Inc. Nutrition. We would be happy to work with you. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, for following Inc. Nutrition. If you got any questions about collagen or want me to talk about anything else in the world of nutrition, let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And that is what the dietitian ordered. Have a delicious day. Bones, um, results with all, and, and I do wanna, and bioactive compounds, and also,